Okay, with this example, we're going to look at completing it two ways. First of all, using a two-way trait table, and then secondly, by approaching it via a probability tree. Um, the point to make is we need to be careful if we are working with information which is given as percentages, and that will become clear as we work through this. So in a town, 40% of the people are male, 20% of the males are left-handed, and 26% of the people in the town are left-handed. A person is selected at random. Given that this person is a female, what is the probability that she is left-handed? So for our two-way table, let's consider that we've got a population of 100. And that will make sense uh, shortly. So our two-way table, we've either got males and females, uh, we've got left-handed and right-handed people. So for our two-way table, if I go male, female, this way, left, right, this way, it doesn't matter which way you do it. And let's consider what we know. We know 40% of the people are male. So 40% of 100 means 40 people are male, which means 60 people are female, giving us a total population of 100. Okay, no issue with that. It's the second fact that uh, could make you go wrong here. 20% of males are left-handed. So we're talking there about the number that's going to go there. And the most common mistake is to say 20% of the males are left-handed, so that's going to be the number 20. 20% 20 of males are left-handed means, in terms of the population, 20% of 40, because there are 40 males. Okay, so if you do 20% of 40, percentage button is in a different place on here, so let's not use it. So 0 0.2 times 40 is 8. So if 20% of the males are 8, we're not going to put 20 there, we're going to put 8 there. If there are 8 left-handed males that means there are 32 right-handed males here it's saying 26 percent of the people in the town are left-handed well that's 26 percent of 100 which means we can put that as 26 which means there are 74 right-handed people once i know that i can fill in the rest of the table so 26 less 8 means there are 18 left-handed females and 42 right-handed. So that adds up to 60, that adds up to 74, that adds up to 100. So it's really important that you're mindful that, that bit there is the key to locking or unlocking the correct figures in the two-way table. What do we want to do with it? Well, say here a person is selected at random, given that this person is female, what is the probability that she's left-handed? So we want probability left-handed given female. So if she's given female, it's going to be this row out of 60, left-handed is that person there. Left-handed female, given that she's a female, will be 18 out of 60. And 18 out of 60 is 0.3, 3 tenths. So there's a 0.3 probability. So that's how we'd approach it using a two-way table. If we consider it as a tree diagram,
So we'd start off male, female, then we've got the information about left and right, left and right. So we know 40% of the people are male, so we've got a 0.4 probability of selecting a male, which means we've got a 0.6 probability of selecting a female. 20% of the males are left-handed. So 20% of the males are left-handed, meaning 80% are right-handed. Now, we know that the probability of you selecting left-handed is 0.26. And we want to find out this. We want to find out the probability of left-handed given female. And if we call that x, that's what we don't know. But we do know that the probability of left-handed equals 0 0.26. That's the bit that's given there. 26 of the people in the town are left-handed. So using the tree, we know that the probability of left-handed is going to either be probability male and left-handed, takes us along that route, or the probability female and left-handed, which is that route. 0.26, male and left-handed, 0.4 times 0.2, plus 0.6 times x. So we're forming an equation there where the only thing we don't know is x. 0 0.26, 0 0.08, 0.6x. So to find x, take that over and divide by 0.6. So, 0.26 minus 0.08 divided by 0 0.6, 0 0.3. So, thankfully we've got the same solution using entirely two different approaches. So you just do need to be careful when working with if all the information they're giving you is in terms of a percentage. Don't confuse a percentage with a quantity.